Okay, this is the introduction to the abduct and shift drill. I have a little towel here kind of rolled up that I'm gonna put under the brim of my pelvis and these lower ribs here, which gives me some feedback for that lateral flexion. So I place that there. In this case, I'm laying on my left side. You can do this drill on one side or the other. I'm gonna use a foam block to help prop my head up and keep me into about neutral to maybe even a slightly flexed towards the ceiling. Um, depending on which side we're on, we want a little bit, at least neutral, maybe flex towards the ceiling. My bottom side leg's in about 45 degrees of flexion, and I can have this back leg propped up against an object. In this case, I can prop it up against this part of the table and put some pressure into it, and the table won't move. Um, otherwise, we can use different ways of doing that, and we don't need to use anything at all, um, especially with this introductory version. You don't necessarily need any force into anything just yet. My top side leg, again, it depends on how much access we have to abduction space. Um, in this case, if my legs at about 20 to 30 de degrees of abduction should be good for most people. So from here, what we're going to do is try to get this zone of apposition where we're tucking our ribs into a neutral state, nice and down, should stack our shoulders on top of each other. So there's a straight line between them. And then the same thing, our shoulders should be in line with our hips and our hips should again start where they are one right on top of the other. So from this position here, I'm not rounded, or sorry, I'm not rounded, I'm not extended in the low back, anything like that. Everything's a nice straight line. I'm tucked through here. I do my breathing where I exhale, tuck those ribs down. When I exhale every last bit of air, I feel those side obliques working. And then same thing, I breathe in through my nose while maintaining that good tension that I built up with the exhale. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to actively push this top leg away from us. So think about this foot pushing towards the wall, give it like a three or four uh, out of 10 effort. What that does, it should turn on our glute and our glute meat a little bit here. From here, we're going to rotate our hips on top of the ground here. So I'm actively pushing away as I rotate my pelvis down towards this side. From here, we should really start to feel that glute working to do that action. And we can upgrade this a little bit when we're just hanging out in this position and breathing, is we should feel ourselves kind of pushing into this roll on the ground just using those obliques. And then the last thing we might do is try to raise this knee towards the ceiling. And again, if we, even if we don't get any movement there, just the effort and the intention to raise this knee should feel this groin start to work as we're pushing this leg down, forward, and then this knee towards the ceiling. And we should feel that this towel is helping kind of keep our rib position, our breath is keeping our ribs down, and we're just owning this position and breathing, doing reps of breath cycles nice and slow from here. Again, that's in through the nose, out through the mouth, like you're, like you're trying to fall out of the mirror. And I really get that groin and adductor working pretty hard when I go to re-inhale. I can feel that working extra hard. So pay attention to those things as you try this drill. Again, this is great for teaching us how to not just externally rotate out of one side, not just learn how to internally rotate and take weight into one side, but to do both at the same time. Okay. So this was an introductory version slash getting into a bit of an intermediate version where we're trying to raise this towards the ceiling. And again, we can add a something that we can place to put some a little bit of preload down into that wall as we do this with this bottom side leg before we start um, operating. But we want to make sure we feel full foot contact into whatever it is that we're pushing into as we do that. So kind of the introductory version and a little bit of an intermediate version as we bring this knee into play here a little bit. Go ahead, give it a shot.